Hi everyone. Today we'll go through the solutions of some of the problems in trigonometry. The first question: Express sine a, secant a, tan a in terms of cot a. For this, let us use the identity: sine square theta plus cos square theta equal to one. One plus tan square theta equal to secant square theta. And one plus cot square theta equal to cosecant square theta. Now we'll consider sine a. We have to represent sine a in terms of cot a. So let's use the identity cosecant square a equal to one plus cot square a. We know that cosecant square equal to 1 by sin square because cosecant is the reciprocal of sin so if we take the reciprocal we can write this cosecant square as 1 by sin square a that is equal to 1 plus cot square a so sin square a is equal to 1 by 1 plus cot square a So sin y is equal to if we take the root of this, we'll get one by root of one plus cot square y. This is the expression which is needed. Now we'll consider secant y. So we have to represent secant y in terms of cot y. For that, let's use the identity. Secant square y is equal to 1 plus tan square a but we need the expression in terms of cot we know that tan is the reciprocal of cot so write tan square as 1 by cot square so tan square a is equal to 1 by cot square a if we consider lcm this becomes cot square a in the numerator part cot square a plus 1 This is equal to secant square a. Therefore, secant y is equal to root of one plus cot square a divided by root of cot square a that is cot a. And finally, let's consider tan a. We know that tan is the reciprocal of cot. Now let's move on to second question. Express sine a, secant a, tan a, cos a, cot a in terms of secant a. So first consider sine a. To express sine a in terms of secant a, let's use the identity. Sine square a is equal to one minus cos square a. We know that. Cos is the reciprocal of secant, so write one minus cos square a as one by secant square a. If we consider LCM, this becomes secant square a in the numerator secant square a minus one. This is equal to sine square a. So sine a is equal to root of Secant square a minus one divided by root of secant square a that can be written as secant a, and which is the expression needed. Now consider tan a. Use the identity one plus tan square equal to secant square. So tan square a is equal to Secant square a minus one. So tan a is equal to root of secant square a minus one. Now let's consider cos a. We know that cos is the reciprocal of secant. So cos a is equal to one by secant a. Now let's consider cosecant a. 
Ascosecant is the reciprocal of sine. We know that sine A is equal to root of secant square A minus 1 by secant A. Therefore, cosecant A is equal to reciprocal of this that is secant A divided by root of secant square A minus 1. Similarly, consider cot A. As cot is the reciprocal of tan, we know that tan A is equal to root of secant square A minus 1. So, cot A is equal to 1 by root of secant square A minus 1. This we can represent sin, cosecant, tan, cos, cot in terms of secant only. Now move on to the third question. Evaluate sin square 63 degree plus sin square 27 degree divide by cos square 17 degree plus cos square 73 degree. For this, let us use these formulas that is sin 90 minus theta equal to cos theta or cos 90 minus theta equal to sin theta. So, if you consider the first question that is sin square 63 degree plus another term is sin square 27 degree. If we use this formula, sin 90 minus theta is cos theta, sin 27 is also equal to cos 63 degree. So, this can be written as cos square 63 degree. Similarly, in the denominator, we have cos square 17 degree plus cos square 73 degree. So, if you want to write this cos square in terms of sin square, so that we can use the identity sin square theta plus cos square theta as 1. So, write cos square 73 as sin square of 17 degree. Now, if you observe sin square 63 degree plus cos square 63 degree, that is equal to 1 using the identity. Similarly, cos square 17 degree plus sin square 17 degree equal to 1. So, we will get the answer 1. Similarly, in the second question, we have sin 25 degree and cos 65 degree. We know that cos 65 is equal to sin 90 minus theta that is sin 25 degree plus cos 25 degree into sin 65. Again, sin 65 is equal to cos 25. Cos 25 degree. So, sin 25 degree, sin 25 degree can be written as sin square 25 degree plus cos 25 degree, cos 25 degree can be written as cos square 25 degree. Now, if we use the identity sin square theta plus cos square theta that is sin square 25 plus cos square 25 equal to 1. Now let's move on to 9 secant square a minus 9 tan square a. From this we can take 9 as a common factor outside. The remaining terms sin square a minus tan square a and we know the identity 1 plus tan square theta is secant square theta. Therefore secant square theta minus tan square theta is 1. So, this will be 9 into 1 equal to 9. Now, consider the second expression. 1 plus tan theta plus secant theta into 1 plus cot theta minus cosecant theta. Write all the expressions tan theta, secant theta, cot theta, cosecant theta in terms of sine and cos. So, this will be 1 plus in place of tan sin theta by cos theta in place of secant 1 by cos theta. Similarly, 1 plus write cot as cos theta by sin theta. Write cot as 
cos theta by sin theta minus cosecant as 1 by sin theta. Now if you observe, we can take the LCM for the first part, LCM will be cos theta. So the numerator will be cos theta plus sin theta plus 1. For the second part, LCM is sin theta. So the numerator will be sin theta plus cos theta minus 1. Now, if you observe the numerators carefully, it is cos theta plus sin theta plus 1 cos theta plus sin theta minus 1. So we can consider this as of the form a plus b a minus b and we know that a plus b a minus b can be written as a square minus b square. So we will write cos theta plus sin theta whole square minus 1 square that is 1. In the denominator write the LCM part cos theta and sin theta as it is. Now if we expand this a plus b whole square expansion that is a square plus b square plus 2ab can be written as cos square theta plus sin square theta plus 2 sin theta cos theta and keep this minus 1 as it is. And in the denominator, write cos theta and sin theta as it is. We know that sin square theta plus cos square theta, this is equal to 1. 1 and minus 1 get cancelled. Remaining part will be 2 sin theta cos theta divided by sin theta cos theta again get cancelled. So, we will get the answer. Now, let us move on to secant a plus tan a into 1 minus sin a. Write secant as 1 by cos a plus tan as sin a by cos a. Keep the second part that is 1 minus sin a as it is. Now, if we take cos a as LCM, numerator will be 1 plus sin a into 1 minus sin a. So, this is a plus b into a minus b can be written as a square minus b square that is 1 minus sin square a divided by cos a and using identity sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1 so 1 minus sin square equal to cos square so 1 minus sin square a is equal to cos square a divided by cos a one cos get cancelled. So the remaining answer will be cos a. Next expression 1 plus tan square a by 1 plus cot square a. Let us use the identity 1 plus tan square a is secant square a divided by 1 plus cot square a is cosecant square a. We know that secant is the reciprocal of cos. So we can write this as 1 by cos square a divided by 1 by sin square a that is equal to sin square a by cos square a. We know that sin by cos is tan so sin square by cos square is equal to tan square a.